from Chinese architecture to out of date fruits and vegetables and rice being grown not in season towards Sakura blossoming in times where it's not supposed to blossom. This is Assassin's Creed Shadows, an ultimate disrespect to Japanese culture that you can see even from the subservience of a lot of the Japanese people in that culture towards someone who was historically a sword bearer and I think that's the thing that we're seeing nowadays be depicted in Assassin's Creed Shadows which was supposed to be a fun romp in ancient Japanese culture even if it has these flaws it was supposed to be somewhat respectful but now we're getting downright disrespectful with this game and people are accusing it of being racist towards Japanese people I don't know if I agree with that but I can see the perception that is growing nowadays towards all the disrespect being established within this game where there is no interest in Japanese culture there's only interest in westernized national narrative storytelling and design and of course political activism and I think that's what we're seeing with Assassin's Creed Shadows and all the development process where we have people that are working on the game saying this game is about hero heroism safety and spreading democracy to all of Japan and I'm like what are you talking about when has Assassin's Creed been about spreading democracy towards countries and this comes back to this imperialistic mindset that is even there with the socialist and progressive left where they feel like their morals values and philosophies are are number one beyond any other culture and you see this being impressed on Japanese culture with this perspective of focusing on foreigners and elevating foreigners above Japanese culture and I think that's where I'm seeing the, the, the anger and aggression towards people that are representing this game where they're making a game that is ill-timed and ill-prepared and ill-equipped to address Japanese cultural issues that are occurring right now where people are aggressively hating this game more than any other game and myself included I think this game is just going to be terrible all out in general but they're analyzing this game and noticing these small inches of disrespect that are being put forth by the developers themselves where it shows that they don't care about Japanese culture. But you gotta see this, the Japanese are really roasting this game. They're not holding back anything. You can see in their comments where they're saying now has a Southeast Asian features, the sword is curved and now a ninja sword and Yasuke doesn't even look in place in Japan. And you see these comments going on and on. Who Yasuke, who isn't even a samurai, plays at being a samurai and walks through a Japanese city and massacres Japanese people as if nothing had happened. Typical Ubisoft and they continue on. It's so scary to see samurai killing so many people in the streets while Yasuke is saying he won't tolerate evil. They're more like demons than samurai. Why not set it in a battlefield? When Yasuke passes by, the Japanese people make way and bow their heads and the samurai are just playing a role to humiliate the Japanese in order to elevate the massacred black people in Europe and America and you can see the response is mostly anger filled at them putting the foreigners at a higher position just slaughtering Japanese people and not even respecting the, the essence of the culture itself doing things that are out of place that don't make sense in Japanese culture you can see this where they're saying the interest to the village is just doesn't even look like a Japanese village Ubis Ubisoft knows less about Japanese culture than the Koreans do a, a Japanese person says at the trailer saying that Ubisoft has done the impossible united Korean Chinese and Japanese in their hatred of this game that is disrespecting all three cultures by mixing up their cultures with the representations that they have of Japanese culture in this game and they continue on by saying it's so surreal and funny that a huge black man walking around Japan in full armor in the 16th century doesn't seem to be a surprise to any of the villagers there to a Japanese person this is just a joke and this is the comments just continuing on kind of looking at this and not understanding what they're thinking at least uh, Ubisoft and when they're, they're creating this game there's a scene where Yasuke crushes the head of a fallen enemy but this cannot make any sense because the enemy is not a zombie why does he need to crush his head Yasuke is not a samurai by doing this and I think that's the thing that's a growing sentiment that we're seeing about this game where it's just the Yasuke is just slaughtering people treating everyone like they're zombies like the Japanese people are not even human beings and they continue on I find it interesting that Japanese people bow so much to Yasuke I can ignore the historical falsification that Yasuke was a samurai but this isn't Japan to begin with it's Japan made by foreigners that's not it such a middle finger to the Japan and you can see the comments continue on people hate this game I think this is a reflection on the on Ubisoft that's more focused on the the politics of and the activism of the game rather than catering and creating a game that is respectful to Japanese culture and I think you can see this 
by their reactions. And I think this would have been fine a few years ago if Ghost of Tsushima never came out, but Ghost of Tsushima did come out and it's one of the most impressive games that respects Japanese culture in all of its unique ways. It even awarded developers an award on the island of Tsushima where people respected their overall dedication to depicting all the natural beauty and of course the history of that island. And I think that's the thing that people are noticing now with these games. When you're developing a game in Japanese culture now people are going to expect you to actually love and understand Japanese culture now because Ghost of Tsushima set the standard so high of its respect people are going to look at Assassin's Creed Shadows now and look and see all these details where it looks like you don't even care about Japanese culture and you combine that with this focus on elevating foreigners focusing on elevating foreign culture and, and ideals and philosophies above Japanese culture itself of course there's going to be backlash against this game i think ghost of tsushima set the standard so high that anything that this game does is going to be over analyzed and now we're getting people over analyzing the situation with yasuke who is being the preeminent and prominent character that is being displayed in this game i think overall i have no problem with this guy being a samurai or anything like that as long as he was cool and interesting but seeing some of the gameplay features and just his character and overall personality sounds like he's written by some terrible writers so we're not even gonna get a cool character out of this we're gonna get a terribly written character that sounds like a robot along with uh, the other character now who sounds even worse by a terrible voice actor who will take the lead we can sneak in. Watch us through the front gate. Don't worry. I won't be alone. It's almost dark. No one will see me coming. You will not stand a chance. But be careful in there. I don't know if the direction is terrible or anything like that, but all these characters sound uninteresting and poorly constructed so we're not even going to get any cool characters out of this so you're doing all this to make something that is bland unoriginal and dated with the things that we've seen from assassin's creed for the past few years the, the elements uh, that we get tired of and i think that's the thing about assassin's creed shadows it's just unoriginal and it's doing things in such a sloppy way that it feels like the amalgamation of corporate interests and of course political activism kind of combining making something that is pure trash to the game playing audience and i think that's what Assassin's creed is looking to build up to be it's looking to be something that is not made with passion and i think that's ubisoft now ubisoft is filled with corporate c-suite executives that have no interest in producing quality games or any interest in the the culture of japanese culture and they're hiring people political activists because they have these investment goals that are aligned with the investment banks that are giving them loans and funding like blackrock and vanguard that suggest that you hire people that are focused on progressive ideology and they're doing that following that getting those loans making those profits and now they're producing games that no one actually wants to play and i think that's what i'm seeing with this game i think overall as you saw in the beginning the dialogue is absolutely atrocious when you hear now and uh, yasuke it, it just doesn't feel like they're human beings it feels like someone who didn't want to write in-depth characters wrote characters in such a cardboard wooden way where i don't even care if these people live or die and i think that is the failure right there of this game where you're making characters that are uninteresting uh, yasuke is an interesting character that you could have made into someone that is brilliant to play but of course they're opting to make him this mannequin type of guy that is just standing there as a rock doing nothing and having no interesting characteristics about him of course we didn't see all the gameplay but just seeing the movement the character designs and the the scenes they chose to show us it just feels like they have no personalities and this is them showing their best foot forward they're showing something that is uninteresting and people that don't have a personality like why would you show us the worst if you're going to show a scene so it's the scenes where we see some character and i think that's the failure of this demo itself where they're showing things that just make the game look worse to me and i think that is uh, the, the big problem with these developers where they just can't make games anymore and unfortunately for assassin's creed shadows it's going to be put in a position where it may be a big failure and put in dire straits and i think that is the case that is going to happen in the video game industry as long as they keep hiring these people that don't like games that are there for political activism and social pl political progressive goals and standards that have nothing to do with pleasing the game players that want to play games and i think that is the end result that we're going to see in the future a, a gaming studio crash and burn 
over their political ideology and of course their c-suite executives that don't know anything about gaming making games worse for everyone that wants to play games and i think it is going to be a sad state of affairs when we see this all play out i know people may be expecting this to be an achievement a success but seeing some of the results and the the nuances that are missed by this game people are noticing like why is rice growing while sakura are in bloom it makes no sense people mentioning the pers why are persimmons in the baskets all these nuanced details that are showing they lack of understanding of japanese culture they're just putting up the facade of japanese culture to inject their own personal modern day political progressive ideals right now because that's the only thing they care about and i think seeing yasuke behead and slaughter asian individuals to the soundtrack of hip-hop music is ridiculous especially now during this time where there's a lot of people complaining about the issues of violence against asian people it is in poor taste but it, this is a game we can't i think that's kind of people being overly sensitive i'm fine with yasuke doing what he does but the game just looks terrible it looks like it's not being made with any quality control the writers look terrible the fighting looks mediocre and redundant it just looks like a game that is not being made by passionate gamers it's made by a committee of executives and of course progressive activists and it shows with their lack of understanding of japanese culture but you leave a comment tell me what you think about the situation do you think yasuke will be a success in assassin's creed shadows i think this is going to be an ultimate failure and hopefully that leads to some change in the video game industry but you leave a comment tell me what you think like share and subscribe this wagner knows why catch you next time